VIP stands for Virtual Project and relates to the main window where I have been creating these tutorials. You can see just one VIP at the moment, but you can have multiple VIPs opened as well. The VIP is the main graphical representation of your creative workspace. VIP is also the file extension for virtual projects in Samplitude and Sequoia. You can save your VIPs in the file menu under Save Project. Or you can use Save Project As if you wish to save it under another name or another version or in a different location using a different file path. If you have a project that has files scattered in different locations, this can be resolved by going to Menu Item Options, Project Properties, Project Status. This window will show you what files are outside of the project folder and allow you to copy them or move them into the project folder. As you can see, this project has all the files outside of the project folder. If you want to copy or move them, click on Copy Files. The next window will show you which files relate to that project. I'm going to copy them. You are then prompted to save your project. This time I'm using the hotkey Save Project As, so I'll save it as 140 BPM version 2. Save Complete VIP In is useful if you want to copy a project to, for example, an external drive. Maybe you'll want to work with the VIP on your laptop. This command can also be useful for making a backup to another hard drive. Although for a more flexible backup solution, I would recommend something like a Cronus True Image, which lets you make incremental backups, meaning that only files that have been changed since the last time will be backed up. Or you can, of course, use Samplitude's CD-DVD backup. If your project directory is becoming bloated with unused files, Save Complete VIP In would be a good way of starting afresh. Then you can save the purged VIP into a new folder. Here's an example. Now we have a summary of the complete file space used, the effect files used, and the file space not used in the VIP. The options are Keep Project Subdirectories is self-explanatory. Copy Unfreeze Data is important if you have been using Freeze. Failure to do this will mean you can no longer unfreeze your tracks or objects, so to be safe I'm enabling that. Copy Effect Used Files, Room Simulator Vocoder, probably only necessary if you have a minimal install on your laptop or have made custom impulses, etc. I won't need that. Copy Only Samples Used in VIP. You have to be careful here, as using this option will limit your virtual editing possibilities. For example, if you have resized some audio objects, the material that is out of view will be deleted. If you are confident about your current arrangement, using this option will probably be fine. If you want to clean up a nearly finished project, this is a good option. I'm confident I won't need the unused samples, so I'll tick that. The default setting of 22,050 samples for each object corresponds to 500 milliseconds at a sample rate of 44.1. This means that 500 milliseconds will be added to each WAV file as a safety blanket. I'll click continue and save it to another hard drive. Create a new folder. So now all the files are being saved to the new location. Now if I go to Save As, it's been saved as a VIP with the new date. When I open Save Complete VIP again, you can see there are no unused samples. So the newly saved project is now nicely optimised. Incidentally, it's also possible to optimize your VIPs without using the Save Complete VIP In menu, simply by going to the Tools menu. 
Remove unused samples gives you a list of the used and unused samples for that project. The ones that are checked are the files that will be optimised. Note the size and the unused columns. Also, note the warning that if you have multiple VIPs that access the same data, you should have them open as well. This is so you don't lose data for those shared projects. I suggest you tread very carefully when using this window. Delete freeze data will remove any redundant freeze data that happens to remain from defrosted tracks and objects. Only some of these open projects have redundant freeze data. The ones that don't will have the menu greyed out. You can see this as I activate different projects. This one has no freeze data. You can also use the menu item Collect Project Files to move or copy files that are outside the project folder. These files are outside as you can see. If there are no files outside the project folder, this window will be empty, as is true for the Blue Star July project. Save project as EDL means you can swap your project back and forth with other EDL compatible software. Of particular note is the fact that by saving a Samplitude or Sequoia project as an EDL, it is then possible to open these EDLs in Video Pro X or vice versa. Video Pro X is a Magix product and EDL transfer allows you seamless integration between these three programs. I'm using it as part of my workflow for making these tutorials. If you need to have several projects open at once, it's possible to save these window arrangements as a SAM session. This one consists of three VIPs. They all react independently of each other. If I activate a different VIP, you will see the mixer will update to reflect the settings for that VIP. You may wish to save this window arrangement as a session. If so, go to File, Save Session. A session has the extension SAM. Then that session can be reopened at any time. So if I close all the projects, there's a shortcut for closing all windows, Control plus H. Then I can easily restore that setup by going to File, Open Project, Session and you will see the extension SAM. So there it is, restored to its former glory.